Hello, hello. So I thought I would show you how to install Steam on Ubuntu. Because yes, you can actually play games on Linux. And most people think, well, you can only do simple things like ordinary stuff with uh, Linux. You can actually play games as well. And uh, for some reason, Steam wouldn't start on my virtual machine. Uh, so I'm on my desktop here. So, I already got Steam installed here. And uh, you can actually play games on Linux. And I already installed a bunch of games. Uh, you can't really install everything, but for most of them, for example, Farming Simulator, I can't seem to be installing it. Same thing with these other games here that are grayed out. But otherwise, you work. And uh, the thing is that if you have an SSD, uh, you prob probably want to install the games on a separate disk, a separate drive. And how do you do that? Well, when you actually first install the game, you get an option when you click install here and you get a window you actually get an option to select the drive you want to install the game on it's a drop down menu <coughs> and what I did was to go into uh, let's see here files and I went to my games disk and I created the steam folder and uh, then I actually selected that folder when I installed the game. So right now, if I go to settings here and downloads, you have the Steam library folders. And when I installed Steam, this was the only folder, the default one. And this is actually on the C drive, so to speak, or the uh, SSD. And I don't want the game, you can see the free space, 127 gigs, so yeah, it's a 160 gigabyte SSD. So you can understand, I don't want sort of games on it. Uh, I don't have that much space anyway for games, but I want to perhaps buy more games that are a lot bigger than the ones I have. So... Uh, what I did was to choose this drive when I install a game, and this is now um, the default folder for the games. So you can see this is sort of the Linux way of sort of naming the drives, its amount, and the games, the Steam. So yeah, every game will be installed on this separate drive, and if I go into into it here you see steam steam apps common and here are the games and this is a uh, one terabyte drive so yeah you can see I got about 650 gig left on this specific drive and right now I don't have that much on this game drive Oh, there you go, we got this as well. Okay. And why did I, didn't I get that on this one? That's kind of weird. Well, it's Linux. Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's kind of how you have Steam on your... Uh, Linux machine and have the games on a separate drive and I don't know how it works when you already got uh, Steam so, 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 sort of the games already installed um, I haven't tried that yet but I think uh, right now for example here are just the logs but I think it's a hidden file if I do it like this, uh, Steam, yeah, here's a Steam folder, and I think the games will be in here, actually, somewhere, the Steam apps, perhaps, 
Yeah, Steam. Uh, Steam apps, yeah. So here would the games be otherwise in the uh, sort of home folder. And you pro could probably just move this Steam apps folder to the, a separate drive. And then uh, kind of restart Steam. That might work. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. And I don't want to now either. <laughs> but yeah. That's Steam for you. So, see you later.